The Zortrax M200 is an impressive newcomer to FDM printing. Its industrial design credentials become fully apparent at PowerUp, particularly in a dimly lit room. The firmware and software follow similar lines of simplicity. The bright, legible display has a small handful of entries, each with a smaller handful of items. It does what it needs to do and nothing more. The software interface is all graphical, and many of the settings themselves are constrained multiple choice pop-up menus, in some cases for numerical input. The advanced settings for the slicer merely doubles the options for a scant seven largely graphical settings. The Zortrax M200 is about printing, not fiddling. And print it does, and with distinction. While the retraction performance and bridging could use some improvements, they are good. And the surface quality and lack of Z-wobble are really something to see. Combined with a 90 micron minimum layer thickness and the exceptional surface quality, the prints coming off the stark white print bed might just cause a bit of a swoon. The stage is worth describing. The build platform is perforated through with hundreds of small, evenly spaced holes on a grid. It's about a quarter inch thick, nine and a half inches square, and mounted firmly by pegs and magnets to the Z stage. Electrical connections are by dual cable for heat and temperature sensing. Despite the added effort of waiting for the platform to cool and having to unplug it from the back every time, and the effort needed to remove prints, the platform worked. It worked consistently. It worked well consistently. Warping is simply not a factor. The prints stick to the raft. The raft sticks to the platform. Right in step with Zortrax's streamlined approach to printing, they also take all the guesswork out of material selection, even to a fault. The printer works best with the filaments sold by Zortrax, and the software doesn't let you tweak any settings to get the best results from other off-brand materials. That said, there is plenty of choice to be had, including the standards of PLA and ABS, as well as the more exotic materials like high-impact polystyrene and Z-glass. Print after print after print, the M200 pumps out consistently excellent results. So if you really just want to print and print well, and you're willing to pay a bit more for looks, forgive a few small blemishes and have no interest in upgrades, rebuilds, or tweaks, and are happy to buy the filament from the manufacturer, this is the printer for you.